What's up, comic amigos? It's your homie Ian. You can find me on Instagram at Hood Rat Comics. But today, I want to take you on a trip through a hunt through Palm Springs. DJ Abomination. So me and my family, we decided to take a trip to Palm Springs for a week. And as a comic and overall collector, it's my job to go to every comic shop and see what they have and support the cause. And it's just not comic shops, but it's antique malls, flea markets, and anything that has junk. But first off, let's see what equipment I brought. So when I'm on a road trip, there are a couple of things that I bring along with me to make sure that I can protect my books and I can keep myself entertained. First off, I bring my store folio. Um, you always have to have a store folio to protect your books, um, especially when you're out there hunting. And then I also bring a, sh a short box. Um, I brought my Absolute Carnage short box here. Um, and this will be uh, where I keep the books that I buy and keep them safe from harm. And I also bring my, uh, my reading pile. As you can see, I have Silk Number 1, I have Death Metal, and I have Masters Universe, and a Spawn book and Becky the Boys, a couple books to keep me, you know, entertained. But these are things I bring when I'm on a road trip. So the first shop I hit was Desert Oasis in Palm Desert. It was a hot day, about 110 degrees. Was it worth it? Well, check it out. All right, guys, our first stop is the uh, Desert Oasis comic shop. All right, let's see what's up in this store. Hey, how's it going, man? Pretty good, yourself? What's up, man? How's, how's it going in Palm Pretty Springs? Good, man. Thank you yeah. For asking. yeah, we're doing good here. What's the name of this store, man? Uh, Desert Oasis Comics in Palm Desert. How long have you guys been around? Eight years and uh, still going. That's it, good. Awesome, man. So, usually, the way we handle our pools is uh, anybody that joins our pool is free automatically. We can get 10% off and we don't charge for bags and boards. So let's say like plus line first appearance, you know, that went up in sale. If you were on our pull list, you'll get a regular cover, regular price at 10% off. Nice, man. You know, that's what we can do. That's the best thing we can do for you guys because to come and support us as well. All right. Free bag and boards, bro. Free Can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Can I take a look? Can I take a look around? Please welcome, guys. Please enjoy the trip and have a good day. There he goes. Ooh, it's Harley. It's Batman 93. Everybody's looking out for that one, huh? I'll show you my favorite part. I know my favorite part. It has to be a big old pile of comics. That's my spot. Alright, thank you so much. You have a great day. God bless you. See you next time. Cool. Alright, man. See you later. It's a dope shop. I recommend everybody coming. So on to the next shop. I gotta say, Desert Oasis Comics was pretty awesome and it was pretty worth it. It's a big pile of comics. And if it's a big pile of comics, you know your homie's gonna love it. And I really like the staff there. He was a really cool guy, really welcoming offered me a lot of insight on collecting comics and finding stores in the Palm Springs area. And I suggest that if you're down there, hit up Desert Oasis Comics in Palm Springs. The helpful staff over at Desert Oasis Comics helped me out when I asked him like, which shop should I go to next? He told me there was a shop right around the corner called Comic Asylum. So you know what I did? I went straight to Comic Asylum. All right guys, second stop for today is the uh Comic Asylum. All right, let's do this, guys. Looks like a cool shop. Bunch of posters. Hi, welcome. Hi, thank you. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm on vacation from San Diego, just checking out the shops here in Palm Springs. 
Well, Thank welcome. You. Welcome to Palm Desert. So welcome to Comic Asylum Palm Desert. Is there anything I can help you with today? No, just tell me a little bit about your shop and, and all the viewers. So basically we carry uh, collectible stuff. So we, we are exclusive retailer for Sideshow. Mm -hmm. And we have CGC comic books, uh, graded comic books that's for sale. We have some Silver Age and basically anything that you can collect that is comic book related. Pretty much have it. We have some vintage uh, toys, action figures, and what else do we have? Statues and... Oh, I like, the, I like these. I like that, uh, that Proto Boba Fett right there. That's big. Yeah, those are That Death Trooper. Mm -hmm. Got Silk up there. It looks like you're a big Silk fan. I am. I know, she's dope. Very dope. I, I am too. I like it. I am too. I know, I'm Filipino and there's a new superhero character whose name's Wave, but before that I was more into silk. Abu, I am Filipino too. Cool, yeah. see? So we, um, and you were actually pertaining to one of the uh, Chronicle and CGC. Yeah, check that out. Wow. And meet my ladies, by the way. Anna. Hey. Aaliyah, so we're doing our shipments today. So that one, I can't read. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it right here. Okay, so it's uh, Amazing Spider-Man Blank, and I met the lovely Carla Cohen, and I had her uh, do a commission, which she actually did for me. And Is that you? Is that really you? Yes, I did. That's awesome. Yeah. That's me. So, that's me. Thank you guys for letting me visit. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. And thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Meet you too. I gotta say, Comic Asylum is pretty dope too. The, uh, the lady there, I didn't get her name. She was so, so helpful. She was so nice. She showed me everything in the shop. She showed me all the slabs they had on the wall, the statues, all the figures. I went through their back bends and she was very helpful with that. Um, she let me go through the wall. It was pretty awesome and she was so nice. And she was so awesome. She told me a lot of different stories about Palm Springs and a lot of different stories about different Comic Cons she's been to. And she also showed me this dope sketch of Silk, which is actually her, which you've seen in the video. So I gotta recommend, hit up Comic Asylum over there in Palm Desert if you're in Palm Springs. It's only like maybe a 10 minute drive and you have Desert Oasis on one side of the street and you have Comic Asylum on the other side. And I'm not lying, they're literally one block away from each other. So check it out. But I gotta say, it was a hot day and I was sweating and I had to go home and hit the pole. So the next day, on a hot day in Palm Springs, I decided to head over to Interstellar Comic Books and Collectibles where I met the owner Steeds. Check it out. All right guys, next stop, Interstellar Comic Books collectibles in downtown Palm Springs to see what's up. All right guys, let's go see what's up in this shop. Hey, hey how's, how's it going, going man? Good, how you doing? Good, I'm, I'm on vacation out here in San Diego, man. You have oh, a cool. pretty cool shop. Thank you, yeah, you, I like it. <laughs> can you tell me a little bit more about it? Sure, uh, Interstellar's been here since 2015. Um, my name's Steven, I just bought it January 1st, 2020. So I'm fairly new at this. Uh, I added a lot more to the store, all the action figures. I brought in a lot more comics and more um, more items like that. Uh, I brought into the store, so it's been business has been really good. Um, closed down for a little bit, uh, and then I've been open for about a month and a half now. It reopened again, I should say. So and business is busier than ever. So I think people are really clamoring for stuff to read, cool things to read at home. <laughs> Awesome, it's right downtown. Yep, right in downtown, heart of downtown Palm Springs. Right uh, next right... to like the most popular restaurant in Palm Springs. Exactly, right? so yeah. if you're here for your uh, 
Pinocchio's brunch on the weekends. Come on down. We're also right across the street from the casino. So you can't beat location. <laughs> just, just look for uh, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> right? Right? Just right down the street from the little Marilyn Monroe statue. There's parking in the back, free parking, which I know sometimes you don't get in LA and San Diego. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you, man. Is it right if I dig a little bit? Yeah, of course. Awesome. My review of Interstellar Comic Books and Collectibles. Awesome bookstore. Awesome, awesome. A lot of cool figures, a lot of trades, a lot of the omnibuses, a lot of long boxes, a lot of cool stuff. And I really found some great stuff there too, which you'll see at the end of the video. But I recommend hitting up Steve over at Interstellar if you're in downtown Palm Springs. It's right next to the most popular restaurant in Palm Springs. And there is Lucille Ball on one side, and there's Melon Renroll on the other. And right next door is Interstellar. So check out Steve. And thank you, Steve, for being so nice and hooking me up. I really appreciate it. So when I was in Interstellar Comics, I asked Steve where other cool comic books can be found. And Steve told me there's a cool place that I could go to and a place that I might really like as, you know, the junkyard dog of the group. And so he sent me over to Sunny Dunes Collectibles, which is an antique store. So check this out. What's up, Comic Amigos? You know, I'm over here at Antique Mall, and I'm always hitting these up whenever I'm in a different town. Um, best thing to do is call, ask if they have comics. And these guys sound like they have a ton of comics. So let's check it out. something around the corner. Ooh. All right, guys. You know what this means? Kind of start that digging. I had a great time at Sunny Dunes Collectibles, but it was super, super hot. It was about 110 degrees. Outside, it was about 80 degrees inside. But as you can see, they had this long table of bronze, silver, and golden age comics. They weren't cheap, but if you dug enough and you knew enough, you could find some deals. And I surely did. You know your homie's gonna find some deals. It was a great shop, and I recommend hitting that shop too while you're in Palm Springs. Well, I gotta say I had a great time in Palm Springs, and that does it for this video. If you enjoy this video, hit the like and subscribe button, and say what's up to your homies here at Team Nerd Herd Podcast. But as we always say, if you want to do it right, collect what you like.
Thank you. 